Look out, here she comes The woman that I love It's too bad she'll never know Yeah, I can't tell her how I feel Because she has someone who makes her happy the past week felt like a magical tale in the north of England. Finally, after waiting patiently, summer arrived, bringing life to every corner. So go ahead and leave it. I don't know what's on your mind. Since I moved here last year, I've been eager to explore the beach near our home. And when those perfect days come, with clear skies and a gentle breeze, I can't help but feel excited and ready for a new adventure. The landscapes here are so different from my hometown in Italy. England is covered in lush greenery, even in the cities, making it easy to escape the hustle and bustle and enjoy nature. Living near the coast was one reason I chose this area. It reminds me of home and brings a sense of peace to my heart. While I sometimes wish for warmer days, these rare occasions make me appreciate them even more. So on this sunny evening, close to the summer solstice, I thought it would be the perfect time to go and watch the sunset. Won't you stay? Won't you stay? In recent years, I've started reflecting on the brevity of life and how we often worry about trivial things that don't really matter. It made me question how I want to spend my days and what I truly value. In our society, it's easy to get caught up in the pursuit of more wealth and possessions, but I realized that wasn't my top priority. If there is a thing that cannot be bought, that is time. What I treasure most is the freedom that time gives to do what I love, to learn new things, and nurture my passions. I remember when I had a corporate job in London, it drained the life out of me. I felt like I could not express myself and my creativity. That's when I made a bold decision to leave that life behind and pursue personal fulfillment. It wasn't an easy choice, as it meant sacrificing stability and security. Even now, it can be challenging at times. But today, in this perfect moment, I find myself free and capturing the beauty of the world through my camera lens. There's nowhere else I'd rather be. Having a garden is a wonderful experience, especially during the summer season. The weather has been absolutely amazing, and recently we had our first delightful barbecue in our new house.
We thoroughly enjoyed our outdoor dining experience, soaking in the sun and savoring delicious food. Allow me to introduce you to a new companion you'll be seeing in my videos from time to time. His name is Louis, although regrettably he is not my own dog. I say this because I genuinely wish he were mine. However, I do have the pleasure of looking after him for a day and we spend quality time together. Louis has been lovingly nicknamed the Prince by myself and Ash because of his gentle nature, impeccable behavior and quiet demeanor. Throughout the day, he spends most of his time resting in his cozy bed, with occasional play breaks. This adorable little creature brings so much joy to our lives, and I absolutely adore cuddling him on my lap. I finally managed to tackle an administrative task that has been looming over me. It involved sorting a never-ending pile of documents accumulated over the past few years, which took hours and hours of shredding. Although it may seem mundane, I surprisingly found the process quite relaxing and satisfying in the end. I'm also making an effort to find time for reading during the day. In the past, I predominantly read fiction books, but now I find myself gravitating towards non-fiction and personal growth literature. It's fascinating how our preferences change over the years. Currently, I'm engrossed in the seven habits of highly effective people, and I have an extensive stack of books lined up for summer that I'm eagerly anticipating. I would love to hear about your reading preferences in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon.